Well, our next speaker today has a, uh, a long and storied history with Indiana University Athletics. John Laskowski came to Indiana University in 1971 and played basketball for the Hoosiers from 1971 to 1975, as I'm sure everybody in this room knows. In his sophomore year, IU reached the Final Four, and in his senior season, the Hoosiers were undefeated for the entire regular season, and they swept the Big Ten by an average of more than 22 points per game. He played two seasons in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls, and he was inducted into the IU Basketball Hall of Fame in 1999. So please welcome Mr. John Laskowski. Thank you. It's great to be here. And uh, uh, for you guys on the team that are from Indiana, I hope the, uh, the comments I make will, uh, will you'll appreciate as well. Because before you're a basketball player at Indiana, you are a fan. You become a fan yourself. And the great uh, adventure of actually being a basketball player here is, is even more fantastic. You know, my father uh, was not a college graduate. He was a tool and die designer in South Bend, Indiana. And I uh, went to South Bend Central just after Johnny Wooden had left to go to uh, Indiana State to coach. And I was looking through the, uh, the press guide that we got on the history of Indiana basketball, uh, the 1960-61 season. And on February 20th, 1961, uh, the number one ranked team in the nation, Ohio State, came to the Gladstein Fieldhouse with Jerry Lucas, John Havlicek, and Bob Knight, and they beat the Hoosiers 73-69. Twelve days later, March 4th, 1961, Indiana traveled to Iowa City to play the Iowa Hawkeyes. And my dad got transferred to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And he came home from work and he said, son, I'm going to take you to a Big Ten basketball game. Indiana's playing Iowa and we're going to go to the game. And so we drove about a half hour to Iowa City We go to the game. And I'm so excited because I live in Iowa and the Hawkeyes are playing. And the Hawkeyes come out to warm up. And I stand up and I start cheering to the number six team in the country. And my dad, who's never played a day in athletics in his life, <laughs> grabs me by the arm, sets me down, and said, son, you're a Hoosier. <laughs> and no matter where you live, you will always be a Hoosier. And boy, that, that kind of wakes you up. Indiana went on to win that game, 78-69. And I've gotten to meet some of those players from that 1961 team. Uh, my father passed away that November when I was eight years old. And when we moved from South Bend, he knew that he wasn't going to live long. And so he rented the house out. We moved back to South Bend. Ten years later, in the spring of 1971, Bob Knight came to that house that my dad had bought and we were living in and offered me a scholarship to come to Indiana University. And I want to thank the donors who paid for that scholarship. It probably wasn't near as much then as it is now, but I became a college graduate. My son Scott is here. He is a college graduate. All my kids are going to be able to go to college, and their kids are going to go because somebody donated money so a guy could come and play basketball. Thank you so much. Um, I made my first trip to Assembly Hall that spring, and Bob Knight said, put this hard hat on. I'm going to show you our new arena. And we went down that tunnel, and we saw the arena, and it wasn't quite done yet, but he said, this is going to be a wonderful place to play, and I'm going to build a dynasty here. And he did on both accounts. I got to play in Assembly Hall. Now, you guys know what it's like at Assembly Hall during practice. There's nobody there, and the coaches are intense, and it's not a lot of fun a lot of times. <laughs> but the magic happens when it's game day. And the fans come in, and the place is packed. They're yelling and screaming, and now it's our time to shine. And, and that's really what makes Assembly Hall, as has been mentioned before. It's the fans that come in there to, to in, inspire you to give your best. And, and these kids will tell you, and I'll tell you, and every former player will tell you, what a great feeling it is to have them behind you and how important that is to the success of our team. And I'm sure Coach Crean would, would feel the same way. So it's wonderful, Cindy and Paul, for your donation. We thank you. Ken Nunn, I can't thank you enough for what you're going to do. If you don't stay after a game, you should sometime because it's amazing. Uh, there's a clock that starts with a 45-minute timer on it. 
and that clock is to represent how long the fans can stay on Assembly Hall and take pictures at center court. And they line up to do that. Coach Crane brings out three players. They sign autographs. It is an event to come to that game, just like it was for me in 1961 to go to Iowa and see a game. That's what people think when they come to see that game. And that's their first impression of Indiana University. So thank you again for, for doing that. And, and on behalf of the former players, I want to thank Coach Crean for the way he's allowed us to come back and be a part of the program. That is a wonderful gesture on your part. And, and on behalf of the players, I can't thank you enough for, for making us feel welcome here. And, and, and we, we appreciate that. Cindy and Paul, thank you again so much.